Dad, I'm home. Alana is getting a ride here. She'll be here any minute, and I want to make sure that you don't... Hey, you doing, Mike? Hey, Mike. Hey. Dad, what are you doing? What? Alana got here while you were out. She was thirsty, I'll tell ya. Whatever. Yeah. Pull up your goddamn pants, son. Jesus Christ, did you go in public like that? My pants are fine, I'm wearing a belt. What's next? Fucking crop tops and nipple rings? <laughs> Whatever, Dad. I like the way I dress, all right? Oh, yeah? Do you like how he dresses? Well, it's cute. I mean, it's whatever he feels comfy with. No, it isn't. Snotty little fuckers walking around the mall with their spiky-ass hairdos and their baggy-ass jeans. In my day, the jeans were snug, you know? They were, they were tight without being, without being constricting, all right? They, they diff find the buttocks and emphasize the crotch. They actually lifted and separated. Do you know why the Bee Gees always sing for bucket high? Because their goddamn jeans were so tight their balls were pushed up to their tits. I know I'm not supposed to like the way you dress. I'm not supposed to like your music. I know I'm supposed to shake my poor head and wonder what the state of the world is coming to. But you know what a secret is? I don't give a shit. I really don't. Kids today don't they don't fucking get it. What are they rebelling against? Every single man jack of them has already won the lottery. They've been born into the most prosperous, the most benign, the most marvelous continent in the history of humankind. Now, maybe if they lived in Africa, maybe if they lived in Saudi Arabia, maybe if they lived in poor fucking China, I could understand where they'd be wanting to rebel. Except, of course, they'd be so goddamn hungry, they'd be so goddamn poor, they'd be so goddamn fucked over that they wouldn't be able to rebel against anything. These little fuckers don't have a worry in the world. They live in their parents' Basement. Parents who love them, parents who coddle them, parents who buy them any fucking thing they want, like a goddamn iPod, for Christ's sake. They don't have a worry about the world. And then they go to school and hang out with their little spiky-ass, punk-haired, dumb-ass friends and dress in black like they're mourning. They're mourning their lost childhood. Mourning for their future that's been destroyed by me. Well, fuck them. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. It is you that is messing up, my friend. You have to go out and get a haircut, shave your beard, get a shirt, a tie, a suit, some shoes, and join fucking civilization! And get me a beer. Hmm. What? See, look, look, you're pulling your pants off. What the fuck? My pants are fine. Would you cut that out? What? You don't swear! Uh... Yeah. Oh, come on, you know what I'm saying here, don't you? Um. About not swearing, or...? No! About the hooliganism! Oh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And speaking of hooligans... What? All right, that's it. I've had it. I dress fine, okay? Besides, you can't be judging people by what they wear, all right? Add a little color, they'll be fine. No, they won't. Yep. Nope. That's it. There's only one way to settle this. Ha ha ha!